there are ways that we can homogenize data back to about the early 80s, and this has been done, uh, and it's just in the process now, that data set of being updated, and the, and the answer that we get now is yes, that in a global sense, there is a signal that has now emerged, and emerged in the sense that it has become statistically significant at 95% confidence or greater. And that's kind of a requirement that we have in, in this branch of science. But um, this has emerged. So what we're finding is that the, the, the strongest intensities are becoming stronger over time. And we're finding that the number of the strongest storms, the frequency, uh, in a proportional sense, is also increasing. In other words, um, whether or not you have more storms or less storms, when you do have a storm, it's more likely to become a major hurricane than it was 40 years ago. So we are, and, and there is something called an emergence time scale, and that's where these trend signals can come up above the noise. And as you mentioned, the fact that these hurricanes are rare events and that they can be so variable from year to year uh, introduces quite a lot of noise into our time series. So we need a, we need a fairly long time period or a very strong amplitude trend signal for it to rise above that. And uh, some work done some years back found that the emergence time scale for things like the strongest storms getting stronger would be on the order of about 40 years. And that's just about where we are now. And sure enough, when we homogenize these data and we look globally, we do start now to see an emerging trend. And the nice thing about that is that in terms of body of evidence, we now have sort of the trifecta that we want. We have, and when I say we want, I say we want it in order to be able to make a confidence statement. We certainly don't want this to happen. Um, but uh, the trifecta being that we, we have observational evidence that this trend has been occurring in the past and that it is significant. We have numerical simulations that are uh, very consistent about storms getting stronger uh, under warming scenarios. And we have a very good physical understanding of this. We understand the thermodynamic constraints on how strong a storm can become. And we know that if we change that, if we increase that, we could call it a speed limit. So. You, any, at any given time and place, if you plunk a tropical cyclone down there, that environment it's in will dictate how strong it can become, all other factors being optimal. That value increases as we warm the planet. So it makes complete physical sense that if you increase that limit, you're going to start to see stronger storms. And that signal is going to manifest most uh, significantly at the higher levels. It's the strongest storms, of course, that do all the damage or most of the damage. Like you say, we can get a tropical cyclone or a tropical storm that rains a lot and can, can do quite a lot of damage. But in terms of real devastation, these really devastating events, they're usually major hurricanes. So we're seeing these increase and the models are saying they should be increasing and the theory is saying they should be increasing. So we, at this point, have pretty high confidence that they're that tropical cyclones are getting stronger and there's a uh, clear human fingerprint on that.